God is saying to you today. No matter how hard you've been working them out, the system is now designed to train me. It is never acceptable to ignore this desire. This is very important if you want me to be there for you next week. We may not be able to discuss anything really important sooner rather than later. The thing you've been wishing for will come to fruition. Keep an open mind and accept other people as they are. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate all you've done to improve my quality of life. For all that you have done, I am very grateful. I know I'm unworthy of your love, but I'm thankful that you are patient with me. Anyhow, your efforts to improve my life have been immeasurable, and I just wanted to express my gratitude and help you understand that I value and compensate. The Father who is always by your side is much appreciated. It will unfold as an ancillary adventure spanning all of your goals. You see, it's the way God loves you for the door to close properly. The second time it's opened its placement is critical. Make sure the door is completely shut before proceeding. Do you intend to make a solemn vow that you will not go completely insane? Like and share this video to demonstrate your faith if you believe in God. A small number of individuals may go, but we need not be worried about that, as we know they will return. While it's possible that some may leave, we know that everything happens for the benefit of those who love God and believe that He has a purpose for their lives. There is no need to be discouraged. God proceeds with the transfers. I am at my best when I am with you. I will do as you say and watch out for the people who matter most to me. Please help them overcome the many obstacles. They may be encountering on a daily basis while they jog my deepest wish is that the bonds that unite you and the important people in your life will only deepen with time. We hope that the joy that is ahead for you is much greater than the sorrow that you have gone through. The two are completely unrelated. According to Jesus Christ's command, additional details will be sent to you the pain you've gone through thus far pales in comparison to what is ahead of you. You must realize that I may dispatch an angel before you to accompany you on your journey and guide you to the destination. I have prepared. Please keep this in mind because I will send a helpful angel your way. An angel is about to be sent before you need to be prepared. Please bring the right people into my life and please get here fast. It is vital that I keep track of the individuals who are intended to be a part of my life. You have my utmost hope that you will show me your love and provide me with the joy you provide. My expectations are high in a perfect world. You would also be able to make me happy, and I hope you can please God. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, because there are several contexts in which it is not permissible for humans to see particular kinds of data. It is first class to consider that God knows all that I am going through even if no one else does. I know he knows all there is to know about this situation. Therefore, I can always rely on him to help me overcome obstacles. 
He has my whole trust, no matter how bad things become. We shouldn't give up on our dreams because the Lord finds a way for us to succeed. This is why we must persist in our efforts to resolve those problems. Avoiding him is an impossible task. No matter how prepared you are, something is going to happen that will completely transform you in ways you can't yet fathom. You will come to understand this month as a pivotal and life-altering event. You have been given a clear instruction to obey by God. The gentle light of your attention makes things seem clean to you if you're willing to give anything your undivided attention. You may see miraculous things happen right before your eyes listen to your gut and do the right thing. If you don't know how things will turn out, God tells people to say things like, Hello, my baby. Pay attention to their feelings and follow their hearts while making decisions so that they might feel joy for life again. Please know that you are not facing this battle alone. I want you to rediscover your zest for life. I have a fantastic suggestion for you, so you should put your anxieties aside and give me some thought. I am now attending to your issues in a correct manner, and I have sent angels to assist you in every way. I can. That is why it is imperative that you experience joy. Once again, you may be taken aback by the extraordinary answer. I have in mind for you, even though I know I don't deserve your love, I still want to express my gratitude to my everlasting Father for all he has done for me. I've got you in my sights. I appreciate everything my loved ones need your help getting through this. Therefore, please pay attention to my pee and provide it. Please God rather than committing crimes. I ask that you, Jesus Christ, keep your eyes on and protect those. I care about lovers finding the greatest joy in their pursuit of knowledge. At its core, love is hopeful. Love never stops. No matter how tough things become, as long as love remains. It will always have faith as it never gives up, never gives up hope, and never gives up trying. Love is able to stand firm for what is right and believe that what is right will ultimately succeed at this very moment. God is running your life and has a wonderful plan for it. The strategy and objectives are superb. You should find solace in the fact that God isn't astonished by your life circumstances all the time and that he can devise a flawless plan for everything. Even if you don't see how that works, because he is always near, never more than a short distance away, he isn't thinking about you and saying so is simply too hard to ensure your safety. You may even agree with him to keep a constant watch on you and pray that God hears my desire and grants it. Furthermore, I pray that the God who provides hope will now anoint you with his joy and serenity in your faith, enabling you to experience a variety of hopes through the power of the Holy Spirit. Belief in anything in the absence of evidence is a delightful phenomenon known as religion for all that my dad has done for me. I am eternally grateful. I know I am unworthy of your love, but now you've caught up with me. Nonetheless, I appreciate everything 
regardless of how bad things become, you can still find verses from the Bible. We may even stumble across them basking in the radiance of a really remarkable event. Despite the industry's current difficulties, we believe it is reasonable to presume that your aims are commendable and will be successful. If we keep an eye out for them, but having said that we both think it's reasonable to assume your motives are pure. Your prayers are much appreciated, things are going swimmingly, so please don't let them dwindle. Thankfully, there is no deeper despair, depression, or sloth than what God has already declared your adversary is dead and buried thanks to the power of Jesus' call. We vanquished and slaughtered that beast because of this, the one who took control of your lifestyle and made sure everything ran smoothly. It is no longer there to accomplish any of that. Someone has suddenly taken up residence in your life. Who was the driving force behind all of these changes because we spoke to each of you as a father speaks to his own children? You understand that we consoled, encouraged, and pushed you to live befitting God who invites you into his kingdom and glory. The reason for this is because our communication resembles that of a parent speaking to their children. Jesus talked to them after looking at them for a while. God has made it so that it is impossible to do it with humans. Everything is possible with God. It is imperative that you seize this gift. A person's demeanor improves as they seek the Lord. The Lord will hold them up with his arms so they don't trip. Even if they tumble while riding, we should not join the ranks of those who have abandoned social gatherings in its place. How about we keep lending each other a hand as the day draws near? We should ramp up our generosity even more. We can talk about strategies to encourage everyone to be more compassionate and generous while we're at it. There is no need to be scared, little sheep. There is no need to be afraid your father bestowed the kingdom on you precisely. Because he enjoys and desires your leadership, because the Lord your God is with you, nothing should you be scared of or worried about. He will not abandon you or ignore you. But keep your calm and keep living strong even when terrible things happen. You prepared a ceremonial feast for me and placed the table in the middle of my adversaries because you anointed my head with oil. I am overflowing with joy. I know that you will always love and care for me and that I will spend the rest of my life in the house of the Lord. The fact that God is our source of power and safety means that we will always go to him for assistance. Regardless of how these numbers pan out taking into account that we are at the dawn of history, this has been really genuine. The only way to get the news out is to share this video. Ignoring the floor giving way and the mountains plunging into the ocean, the water foaming and screaming and the floor shaking from the waves. We will not be frightened in this incarnation. You were well known for making the right comment in front of a large number of people. The moment to answer that call has come any kind of life you choose is within your reach as you engage in this righteous conflict. Live a life according to your faith. Seize the moment so that it remains forever 
the call of God is upon you. I want to find someone who can really soothe my spirit. He is my greatest desire and the one I can trust the most. God is my refuge and strength. He is the reason. I can calm my nerves because he created me. I may not be able to go on from my current position if I am being truthful. He is my stronghold for all my needs. God is a solid foundation because God is our safe haven. My redemption and renown are in his hands. You must always trust in Him and pray to Him from the bottom of your heart. Being genuine is essential in love and tackling tough situations by concentrating on the good. Instead of the bad is a good strategy to prioritize your loved ones and close friends before yourself too. You should never feel like you're running out of juice when serving the Lord. Instead, keep your spiritual fire burning by being joyful in your desire, moved by your suffering, and committed to your prayers. As you place your confidence in the God of hope, may His perfect joy and tranquility also overflow upon you. I know exactly what I've planned for you schemes to make your life easier, so it will be easier, so it will be easier for me to give you hope in the future. So I pray that the Holy Spirit will also all anoint you with desire and wish as you put your trust in God. If you call on my name, I will be found by you in your search. And if you come to worship me, I will give your words much consideration in your quest for me, and you will discover my presence. If you would only tell me what your problems are, God says I can solve them. No problem is too big or too little for me to handle, and I can provide you with eternal serenity. You must persevere unwaveringly in the face of increasing adversity. Relax in the knowledge that your prayers have been heard. That good things will come to pass and that the weight of the world will lift off your shoulders when you know that you are in God's loving presence. You're in good hands. There is no need to be concerned about anything. I can now provide you with my things of victory, healing, and serenity. If you are faithful and will fight this battle to the finish, keep in mind that even when things are bad, I can generally attend to your favorite hobbies. Something really extraordinary is about to happen right now. Prepare yourself to feel the immediate reward of your efforts and to see your efforts bear fruit. A fantastic creation is about to emerge from my hands. The Bible says that right now is the time for me to give you a great gift. You must demonstrate that the time has arrived. I will perform miracles to restore your mental and emotional and physical well-being to its previous state. Your luck is going to turn around for the better, and before you know it, you'll be rolling in plenty. There was no way today could have been an error. It is a lucky day for you today. A divine revelation assures you that you will get many accolades and accomplishments beyond your wildest dreams. Also, he argues that if you don't pray or put your faith in greater energy, this can happen immediately. Everything is going to stop changing the way. You want it too, since this is the case. You shouldn't let go of any of these issues. 
You are about to embark on a new era of prosperity, and if you need significant life changes, you should prepare yourself for the changes occurring in your life at the moment. As a result of cosmic activity, nothing or no one can stop the inevitable from happening in your life. Your majesty is on the verge of reappearing. Your destiny is nearing its conclusion, and your life is ascending. You may not be able to hold on to the joyful feelings you'll have when you share the wonderful news with us all, for you being a part of a celebration is really crucial. I almost feel bad for you, since everything happens so quickly for you as you think about it now. It's almost impossible to believe that everything occurs so fast. God is going to perform a miracle for you tomorrow morning. So that you may obtain and contemplate this stuff without any pain or effort, you will be allowed to agree with these things by the angels. Who are urging you to have faith in synchronicity and heavenly influence. You needed that person's help and protection from the imminent danger. Thus the Supreme Deity wanted them to be by your side when you are God's little child. You may be certain that he will do everything in his power to save you from suffering and failure. He will stop at nothing to see that your dreams come true. He cares about your success more than your failure, though you may not feel deserving. I will keep an eye on you and protect you from the evil that is in the world, God assures his people. If you believe this to be accurate in God's eyes, consider giving this video a thumbs up and a rating by clicking the boxes below. Wonderful coins will be shown to you soon. The pain and loss will eventually go away and new opportunities will present themselves. Even if someone follows you, they may not get God's blessing. An enormous boon will materialize in your life to alleviate your problems immediately. A large gift that exceeds your expectations is possible with this. It will change your lives in ways you can't even begin to fathom. There may be a plethora of novel approaches to generating income. But you'll have more funds available in your bank account than you can spend next week embracing the fleeting nature of everything on this earth and being close to me. Your top priority with the time you have. I swear that I will be the one to bring you the greatest joy. If I decide that I am the most important thing in your life, we are told by God that I will live forever. God says I am everlasting, so you may place me anywhere you choose, particularly in relation to your existence every day. You're going to be analyzing brand new facts that will change your lives for the better and lead you to success, money, and happiness. It's more probable that you will, my dear. You are terrified of so many of these things now that you know about them no matter how difficult anything seems. I will always find a method to deal with it considering how long it took me to create the earth and sky. It shouldn't be too difficult for me to make significant changes to your life in only one day. That which sustains life is mine. Jesus said he promised that everyone who submits to his power and seeks his advice would never again be hungry or thirsty. Nobody will ever have to go through such horrible experiences. 
do not give up. You are almost there, and the people attempting to stop you will be astounded by how you handle the challenges they throw at you. God is constructing a road to serve as the midpoint of the wilderness, allowing you to swiftly traverse a territory that has been devoid of human habitation for an extended period. I used to be able to anticipate and satisfy your expectations as they were being articulated and considered the answer. You've been hoping for will be mine to provide it as soon as I can. I will attend to it promptly. Your patience has been very appreciated, and I'm aware of how subtly you have been anticipating it. I allowed my kid to die during the transfer no longer because I wanted you to feel sorry for yourself. You are free to wallow in your sorrow. I am not responsible for any of this. Do not stop moving. Instead, get up and continue in the same general direction as before you collapsed. I always ask for your help without hesitation because I know I can always count on you to be there for me. When I need you, I'm the deity you revere and honor. Get down on one knee and agree with me on a daily basis. You are the most radiant part of my existence. Various positive aspects of your lifestyle will manifest as a result of this. Your worries will go out of your mind long before this weekend arrives. It is the rate at which all the wonderful things that may happen to you will induce you to forget about them. You will learn everything there is to know so that you may live your life to the fullest and attract your ideal circumstances simultaneously. You will strive to achieve this objective after you've gathered the courage to begin the process. You'll focus all of your energy on seeing it through to completion. If you do as I say, you won't have to remain in the dark any longer. You could possess the light that terminates lives. Being alive in the dark is something you'll have to deal with. Life will be difficult for you until you pay attention to me. Do as I say, or else you'll waste your retirement years stumbling about in the dark. The Bible verse seems like a divine suggestion. If you don't listen to me, it claims that I am the sector's mildest. What is beyond the shadows will remain hidden from your view until you follow my command. Because God is removing all the horrible things from your life, you will be happier than you have ever been. God will remove all the terrible things. He has been placed in your life, therefore. That's what you should expect. Make a note of this on your calendar and plan ahead for it, because you will experience more love and more wealth than you have ever before. And you will be happier than you have ever been in your whole life. Some people don't understand you because God made it apparent that they weren't meant to until this shows up shortly. As it states beyond that the general public tends to believe that not everyone understands your pronunciation. Maybe this helps you understand why some people aren't receiving your point. No matter how much you try, you just can't give in to the idea that you should be miserable fighting against the impulse to be let down is crucial. You have my whole attention with this phrase. I get that you are the light at the end of my tunnel every day. Your life is going to undergo a major transformation. 
a challenging problem that has been nagging at you might finally go away, and an incredible opportunity could present itself because your life is prepared to be transformed. This transformation is about to take place. This change is a result of a major transaction that is about to transpire in your life. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, if you believe that God may have said anything in the Bible, then I'm going to amaze you. This indicates that God has something extraordinary and unexpected in store for you. It comes as a shock to learn that something you thought could never cross the other way really can have every household have at least one breadwinner who may end up financially self-sufficient without relying on the income of anyone else. This is a choice that anybody may make. They may take advantage of this risk by breaking the circle of reliance, which would benefit them. These are the most basic individuals who can switch things up and shake things up a little. A member of your immediate family is now here with us, researching that for you. You're about to enter a period of tremendous personal growth and development in many areas of your life. Many years will pass during this period. I am certain that everything will turn out well for you. You've spent a lot of time preparing for this moment since it marks the beginning of a new and important chapter in your life, without a doubt. This new chapter in your life is going to shine through as a pivotal moment in your journey. Keep in mind that no one should ever feel the need to always remain on edge. All of your dreams, ambitions, and anticipations will come true when the moment is right. The total number of blessings you get is likely to increase and you should feel good about yourself as you say this. If you agree with God and would like to demonstrate your love for Him by indicating that you believe, please give this video a thumbs up. The truth you are researching indicates that your happy days have already arrived according to God. According to God, your glorious days are already here. If you are reading this, it's a sign from God that the best times of your life are behind you. If you are able to read this, then you have been given God's word that your happiest days are behind you. If you are fortunate enough to lay eyes on this pricey individual, may God tell you that the best years of your life have passed and think positively. Since all of your ideas about what you're trying so hard to make happen right now need to be fantastic, Think only of precise ideas and let them fill your mind. Only the most pleasant ideas should be allowed to linger in your head. A person's mind must be free to absorb everything that the Lord speaks and one's ideas must only be positive along with his peace, blessings, and compassion. May the Lord be with you if you remain true to your vow to God. All of your problems will miraculously disappear and God will lead you to even higher heights. If you keep your word to God, you will overcome the difficulties in your life, in your destiny. Your level of devotion to God determines how each of these things plays out. The situation will resolve itself when you give it some more time. Be careful not to let your need for an ego boost obscure all the good things happening in your life 
at the moment doing this would be quite foolish of you. Doing this is very unacceptable and should be discontinued immediately. Doing things that way could end up being very disastrous. Even though you may not be able to see it clearly right now, things are still falling into place for you to think of it this way. Those precise things are either coming your way or are being prepared for you now. If you don't immediately see things fitting together correctly, that's okay. You are still being targeted by precise stuff even if you don't see it immediately. Things might still be beautiful for you. The only catch is that they could need more time. Good things are on their way to you. Even if you can't see them clearly just now, you are now being greeted with incredible things. Even if you are unable to perceive them clearly, feel the impact and keep your word to those here and in the hereafter. Always keep in mind that you need to give. God, your full attention, you have limitless potential according to your God, but you risk failure. If you avoid doing the tasks that are meant for you, this is necessary. If you want to be within the painting, you won't succeed. Unless you put in the right amount of effort, first make sure you get the results you need. If you could give me a broad idea of what you have in store for me that would be fantastic in addition to making sure their shape is correct. I may guide them so that they are compatible with my beliefs about what will bring you the most joy in life. You are the light at the end of my tunnel every single day, and I will shape them in a way that I think will bring you the most joy throughout your life. Since this kind of information wasn't your primary purpose upon creation, it's no wonder. No one has been able to catch you sharing this type of data was never meant to be your main focus. You must resist the temptation to wallow in misery and refuse to give in to reality. You wish we were different. Refraining from being disillusioned is crucial. What you're trying to say with this statement is obvious to me. You bring more joy into my life every single day. Your miracle is in the shipping process right now and must be at your doorstep any second. We are almost there in terms of finishing the delivery procedure now that it is en route to them. You need to stop wasting time complaining about it now. Since it's almost time to stop, you need to keep from being traumatized by something really important that will happen to your way of life. It will be okay, and you and the people you care about could even have great futures after this. Always keep in mind that things will improve because I care about you. Praying for God to open this next door for you will not only give you the strength to face the adversary in the next fight, but it will also give you time to prepare for it. This is what will always come to pass, since that is how things are manifesting due to their relative importance, and the fact that completing them moves me closer to my objectives. I should have no trouble keeping track of them because they determine whether I am able to achieve my goals. These items have great significance for me. We are so thrilled for you today because you are about to get a gift that will help you become so amazing that you may not believe it until you experience it yourself. 
More opportunities and gifts are on the way to you now. All of these things will be yours. You may live with us now. Because there are rules with the major changes taking place in your life, once the ball is rolling, this might start to advance and materialize quickly. It is of the utmost importance that you express your thoughts and feelings to those close to you. These people's lives are about to undergo some changes. It will not be too long until these changes are implemented when a new chapter of your life begins to unfold. You will be faced with some of the most important choices, and you will ever face some of the most important decisions. You'll ever have to make are at this very moment. Your way of life is already progressing as planned. Despite this, there are a lot of wonderful things that need to come back, but they are now blocking our path eventually. It was meant to go somewhere everything that was supposed to happen to you at the beginning of the method really happened this way at this very moment. This is the plan for its dissemination right now. You're in an, an ideal situation to reap God's blessings, and doing so may not even be that difficult, it seems. As if there is an entity keeping tabs on you and offering you protection, you should trust it completely and depend on it in every aspect. Even if it's a great indication, you have to have faith in other people and in things that may be clean for you to get where you need to go right now. The allotted waiting time has finally expired and been fully used up. You're about to have a fantastic time that will wow you and leave you speechless at the magnitude of its impact on your development. Raising your frequency allows you to be more receptive to the energy that is being sent towards you, with any luck. You'll be able to harness the power that's headed your way, and you will sense the impending surge of energy. If you act in accordance with your desires, your prayers may be heard soon, and when they are, you may experience a blessing. As a result, never again give up hope that everything will work out. Do you feel empowered to begin the process so that it may be passed on not knowing what the future holds is something? You should not be afraid of putting me last in painting as aggressively as possible are your only two priorities as far as your way of life is concerned. You have nothing to worry about God has already thought about what's going to happen to you. Once this life ends, there's no need for you to fret about it in order for you to fully appreciate your adventure and the people you encounter. I will connect you with energetic and joyful individuals. A first-rate experience is what I aim for for you to sum up. I really hope you enjoy yourself and probably will continue to be a major thought in my mind regarding this matter. I will keep a close watch on you. Nothing I do will ever let you down and many of my passions align with your current endeavors. Your luck may be on your side today and you could find success in all your endeavors using a threat as an excuse to pull this off is completely out of the question, comprehending. It is quite challenging to keep a positive outlook on life because wonderful things are about to happen for you. And events will start to align in a manner that benefits you spell amen, without a doubt, much obliged for your time. 
Get more messages from God by subscribing. Amen.